Hi again, it's Rick from the Cat Jewelry School and a few people have asked a question about adding uh, different shanks. Uh, I have shown how to do that in one or two videos before but this is for a knife edge ring band. So I just wanted to show you uh, and explain to you how to go about doing that. So if we come, just to show you something first, if we come, uh, let's just change to our, our top viewport here. So we'll be doing, creating these curves in the top view. We'll just come over to your file menu and down from your options tool across to your user folder manager. Now remember that stores all of the curve information for different curves for signet rings and uh, things like prongs and ring shanks and stuff like that. So you'll notice I've added a few here already but if for example you click on let's say one of these half round ones, if you actually just double click on the profile shape it will place it in your drawing so you can click out. I just wanted to place it to show you this. So there it is there, it's tiny, if you scroll in it's actually uh, one mil in diameter so we'll use that gauge as a, as a guide. The other thing you'll notice is that there's no uh, closed section at the base and the reason for that for ring shanks is that uh, it, it adjusts based on the size or diameter of the finger size that you're using so there's no need to have the curve closed. Uh, in fact if it's closed you won't be able to save it into the ring profile library. So let's just delete this first So we'll go to our drawing tab and start with a circle. So click on the circle tool. And the center of the circle is going to be the center of our grid. So remember that's zero. So just type zero on your keyboard and press enter. And the radius, uh, we'll, we'll use a radius of uh, 0.5 of a mil or a diameter. If you're using a diameter measurement, we'll use obviously one mil. So if you want to use radius, you can type in 0.5 there. If your uh, system is saying um, a, a, a diameter measurement there, you can type in 1 and press enter. Now we can um, draw some lines here to split this object up because we're going to cut it into a half round and uh, we're going we're gonna to split it in a few parts. So come to the line tool and make sure for this that your object snaps are on at the bottom of your screen. Okay, if they're not active, they're grayed out, you'll need to switch them on and make sure your quad snap is on. We want that on for this exercise. So first click at the top at 12 o'clock on the circle and then down to the bottom at 6 and press enter on your keyboard to run the line tool again and start at one side and across to the other. So you should have it broken up into four quadrants of a circle. So now we're going to split this circle. So if we use the split command over here in our drawing tab, click on that, and the objects to split, we're going to split the circle and press enter. And the cutting objects are going to be the two lines we drew, one and two, and press enter. Now at the bottom of your screen it will tell you that the curve, which is the circle, is split into four sections or four pieces. So let's just delete the bottom sections and we'll delete the lines we used for cutting the circle up. And you'll see now that this circle is divided into two halves, a left and a right semicircle. So what we're going to do now is edit this into the shape that we're after. So we want this to come to a bit of a point. So the way we do that is editing the control points that govern the shape of this semicircle. Draw a bounding box around both curves and come over to the edit point command and you may need to zoom in to see this but if you click to zoom in it's a little hard to see on my screen here but there are some control points that govern the shape of this semicircle. So obviously if I start Moving them around, it's going to just start distorting the shape. I'll just undo that. So all I want to do is highlight the points here because this is actually the, the end of one of these curves and it's the start of the other one. There are two points there. So I want to draw a bounding box around both of them and just simply shift them up. So you can see that's forming the knife edge for our band now. So just do it at you know, 
or a shape that sort of uh, you think suits what you're trying to do. That looks okay. So we can press the escape key on your keyboard to switch the points off. And remember that these curves are still two separate halves, so we need to join them together. So draw a bounding box around both. Come to your join command and join them. And once they're joined, we can come to our file menu, next to our options, and add it to our user folder. So click there, come to the profile curves, and we'll come down here and add this. I'll call this Rick Knife, or in fact, better still, Knife edge and click OK and just close that and I can delete this now I don't need it unless I, I want to make a variation and, um, and save that again to the folder I'll just leave it in the drawing for the moment switch back to my perspective view and now if I go across to my jewelry tab and run the ring wizard I'll come to my shaded display and let's use a half round in the base of this ring, 004. Uh, we'll make it 1.6 mil high and let's make this tape. So we'll make it 3.5 mil wide and we'll switch that cross section off now to stop editing it and we'll come up to the top cross section here the red one and we'll switch that on. Now we're going to change to the shape that we just created. So click here and select the knife edge profile and I can set some parameters here so I might make this 2.8 mil high we'll make it narrower let's say 2.2 mil in width and that looks good to me so I can just click the check mark to close the tool and you can see we've got the knife edge there and it tapers out into a half round at the base I'll just switch to the render display to show that to you a bit better And that's it. Okay, I hope that's given you a bit more understanding of how you can create your own custom ring shank profiles for use with the Ring Wizard. Okay, see you in another video. Thanks.